Nakuru County has hit the headlines in recent times due to court cases challenging the appointment of chief officers and CEC members by Governor Susan Kehika, a situation that appears to have thrown the county into a leadership crisis. Dr. Magare Gikenyi filed a suit to stop the vetting process of the county executive committee members nominated by the governor. We need to fight for the injustice. You don't need to be hired. If you get hired to do something, it means you yourself you don't believe in it. We were in a very difficult situation whereby we, we were not able to get even food, to get even where we can sleep. Sometimes we can always we were able to sometimes live down. Born into a family of average means, he is the third born among 16 siblings. He studied at Riekemon Primary and Secondary Schools before joining the University of Nairobi where he studied medicine. After 2007, then I, was, uh, I went to different hostels, including uh, Thika District Hostel. The night that was around 2008 and 2009 to Nakuru PGH, then 2010 to Moro District Hospital, 2011 and Bagon Nyaya Hospital. The 39-year-old, viewed by many as the Okio Mutanto of Nakuru, explained his journey to the corridors of justice. There was one of the American doctors, female doctor, who had come to there. Of course, he didn't, she didn't like me a lot. He wrote a letter to the, uh, the school of the university alleging a couple of issues, essentially saying I was not a good doctor. So the dean by then was called Professor uh, Lukoya Tuori suspended me from Mo University. We went to court through a judicial review and the court essentially found that I was right. Dr. Magari, born in Mokonge village, Kisi County, has a long history with the Nakuru County government. He sued the county government three years ago for stopping his salary while working at the county referral hospital. Even during that time when I was in the university, the county also has uh, removed me from my payrolls. And the court agreed with me that uh, the, the county uh, 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 accused me without giving me an opportunity to be heard, so I was paid my, my money. He insists that stopping the vetting process of CECM nominees was informed by the fact that ethnic and cultural diversity was not adequately considered, adding that he is not advancing certain political interests. So this petition has nothing to do with the politician. It's mainly because of as a, belie a believer of constitutionalism and the rule of law. In his quest to ensure public involvement in governance, he also has a case against the national government. While the president was nominating those principal secretaries, he did not consider the cultural and ethnic diversity of Kenya. The medic says he drafts his petitions alone, adding that hiring a lawyer has proven to be too expensive for him since he has to foot all the bills. Dr. Gikenye says he has big ambitions and that has informed his decision to spend most of his free time to read law books and journals. Uh, one of the reasons why I draft a loan is that number one, hiring a lawyer sometimes is very expensive. Like in a petition you can be told to pay 500,000. Sakali Dalmas, KTN News, Nakuru.